What is going on guys? This is EK1 here and today we're bringing you a farming method or a method where you can score around 500 to 600k on Guardian games. Now without even trying you'll easily hit 400k but with a few little tweaks you can get that up to 5 and 600k. Now if you want to get into the top 10% and have this incredible emblem then you're definitely going to want to do this because everybody seems to be doing it right now so I thought I'd share it with you. It's a pretty easy method. It doesn't take hardly any effort at all but you will need a group of three players. Now let's get straight into the method. So what are you going to want to do to get this prepped? Now, there's one of two ways. The first way is you can do this uh, method at the beginning of the mission. Or if you want to just run through the mission as quick as you can and then do it just before you drop down to the boss, you can do so. But what you're going to want to do when you do the method is drop down your gear as low as you can go. So basically below 1350. So if you just put a few items that are like 1350 or below um, on, and then of course, you have a grey item which is in the collections, uh, armor, and then I believe it's leveling, and then you should have a piece of armor here which is level 21. That should drop you right down to like below 1350. And then what you're going to want to do is have a weapon with ricochet rounds. The Herod C I believe always comes with it. I might be wrong there but this is uh, what I've found to be most effective. So it has ricochet rounds on it. So that's what you're going to want to have equipped when you're about to actually do the method itself. Just make sure you're again below 1350. So to start with what you're going to want to do is load into the Guardian Games competitive playlist. So when you load in the mission you can go to the back wall here and this could be spot number one. So we can do the method right here. So the method's pretty easy. All you're going to do is have two players kill themselves and the other player reses them. They have to res the, them both fast to get the medal. And then you rotate. So now I'll res and then I'll kill myself and the other third player will then res. And then basically what you do is you keep going around and round and doing this method now you have to rotate it otherwise you're not going to get the uh, medal so basically when you've done the two reses you just keep rotating around this is the first spot as you can see in a second i'll get the medal um come up on the screen which is here so guardian angel is the medal and you get quite a lot of xp you can see in the bottom right hand corner now the downfall about this method here this this spot mm -hmm is that how long is it going to take you to complete the mission? So how long are you going to spend actually doing this method right here? As you can see, we're already at 255k and we didn't do it as fast as we could have because this is our first attempt to at doing it. It's the only one I have footage of. But basically, you've got to time it so you can get through the mission without hitting 24 minutes because when you hit 24 minutes, that's when you start losing your XP and not gaining any more. So really, you want to be finished before that 24 minute mark and you want to have uh, utilized all of your reses and all of your um, XP that you could possibly get, including doing the emote finishers on the Hive Guardians as well. Now, the second spot is basically just before you get into the boss area. This is what I found to be more efficient, even though on screen we don't really have that much score at the moment, but run through the mission as quick as you can and then use this wall here to do the method so obviously make sure you have that low armor on and the ricochet rounds you can switch out to your normal loadout when you are clearing the uh, actual mission because if you don't you won't basically do any damage to anybody but i found this to be the most efficient method because you are not time driven you know you know that the boss kill is probably going to take you what four to five minutes maximum so you can go all the way up to 20 minutes or so here um, if you can get here as quick as you can, you can skip some of the uh, the mission as well by running through in Viz or doing something like that. But it just depends if your uh, your team is good at clearing the ads and getting everything cleared. So basically, use your heavy as much as you can going through, uh, and make sure you just utilize uh, all of those emotes and medals. You know, so emote and finish uh, the the hive guardians, emote and finish uh, barriers and all that, so you get more XP. Basically, once you get to like 20 minutes, I'd drop down then 
and start uh, killing the boss. Be careful you don't accidentally wipe the whole squad here because it does take, I think, like 12 seconds or 15 seconds and it spawns you all the way back where you drop into this area. So that does lose valuable time. We did do this a few times by accident, um, but it will take a little bit of practice to get used to and then you guys will be absolutely smashing it. The highest score I've seen so far doing this is 600k and um, that did utilize some of the other methods as well, such as um, sort of wiping and then doing NPCs again and also the uh, emote method with the hives where you just let them respawn and keep finishing them now if you found this helpful once again hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell we do 30 second Zer videos every Friday when Zer arrives and we also have a number of build videos one of those build videos is a titan 3.0 solar build so definitely don't want to miss that and we have the hunter invis builds there as well guys take care stay safe everybody and we'll see you all in the next video